Hey, this is Mark Spoonauer at Laptop Magazine, and we're taking a first look at the Photon 4G from Motorola for Sprint. It'll be coming out this summer, and the price is to be determined, but this is a very sleek and powerful high-end smartphone for Sprint. And uh, we're going to give you a quick run-through of this device. This is the first Tegra smartphone for Sprint, so you get dual-core power, uh, gig of RAM, uh, so there's going to be plenty of memory on board. And uh, they also have the Moto Blur interface on here. Uh, Motorola is targeting uh, both uh, consumers and professionals with, with this device because it's uh, for work and play. It's not only has 4G speeds, but it's an international device. And so you'll be able to use it overseas. And uh, it also has the security features that business users have been asking for, like uh, easy uh, deployment and management, as well as a remote wipe and lock. So uh, a lot of businesses that have been waiting on the Android sidelines will probably scoop up this device. And they're going to like a lot of the features that it has to offer because um, on the play side it has uh, HD video so you can record 720p in a fast acting camera with 8 megapixels of resolution. On uh, this side you have your camera button and uh, you have two um, the volume rocker right here. So it has a very premium look and feel. You have like this matte soft touch finish on the back. And you also have a really nifty kickstand, just like the, the Evo line. Uh, but this has a 4.3 inch uh, QHD display, so it's nice and sharp, so you'll be able to uh, watch videos on this uh, in high definition and high quality over Sprint's 4G network. Uh, and then on, on this side, you're going to have uh, your USB, but also HDMI connector. And just like the Atrix line, Sprint and Motorola are saying that you're going to be able to plug this into a multimedia dock for the uh, web top application. And eventually, um, there should be other accessories made available. You know, potentially there could be the laptop dock as well. Uh, one thing that definitely differentiates the Photon 4G from other uh, Motorola devices is that this has Sprint ID packs, so you can actually just go here and you can see the one that's downloading in the background. And what the ID packs do is it just gives your phone more personality. It doesn't. Uh, overwrite the Moto Blur functionality, so you're still going to be able to get all of your social networking and everything else, but it's just a way to add personality to your phone and, and customize it. So overall, I mean, so far we're pretty impressed with the performance, the premium design, and the versatility of the Photon 4G, and it gives uh, Motorola and Sprint a very nice device on the high end to compete against the Evo 3D, and also gives a lot of people who have been looking for an Atrix-style device on Sprint something to look forward to. Uh, this is Mark Squirtle of Laptop Magazine with a first look at the Photon 4G for Sprint.